Hello, people. This is the Abby Rabbi. I do some adjusting. Figured out how to work this mic. Let's try this. We've been having some audio issues. Let's see if we get picked. Isn't this is awesome. Uh, uh, I'm broadcasting here from the Trade X in Owl Beach, Columbia, down under the canopy. is pouring in outside. When I'm inside under a tent, this is phenomenal. I'm surrounded by tents or by trailers. You should see this, man. Campers. If you want to take a look at this. Isn't it awesome? Look the size of this thing. It's just beautiful. It is huge. It's beautiful. You should see some of these things. If you ever get a chance, you should take in some of these shows. Stuff you see, it's just phenomenal. Like, they're like homes away from home. I don't mean that, that guy that, that, that does the carpentry stuff. <laughs> Not homes are homes. This is homes away from home. Now I don't want to stay here. Come on. Let's try to do adjustment here. Oh, wow. Waste up time here. Ah, oh, I gotta hold it. Anyway. <laughs> uh, I hate this thing. Uh, anyway, this is the Rabbi Rabbi again, as I said. Uh, uh, talking about revelation and things which are yet to come and the revealing of time. I just dropped my mouse. Gotta pick it up. More time wasted. What's the purpose of, of, the, sh of, the, of the revelation? It says in the first few lines to show his, um, show his servants the things which were yet to come. And, you know, so these, this is information that we need to know. His servants, if you're a servant of the Most High God, if you're a follower of Yeshua, if you serve Elohim with all your heart, mind, soul, and body, revelation is for you. That's why it was made. So people who don't want to talk about this or say, you know, it's not really for you, are withholding information, and that's crime. That's a crime, and that's a sin. This is stuff that you need to know. This is things that you should be educated on and understand. Now it says that it, these are shortly to come place. Now, it, it, in this aspect, it's a period of time. But you have to understand what David said, which in Psalm verses chapter ninety, verse four, he says, "A thousand years in your sight are like yesterday." It's like a blink of time. It's only a phase. It's it's just like it's gone. It's just it was here for us, but forever it forever reigns and, and keeps on going. Again, Peter also tells us, don't forget one thing. A thousand years are like one day in your sight. In Second Peter chapter three, verse eight. So you have to understand the time in the essence of shortness meant nothing against this vast aspects of eternity. So as an eternal being, God has no boundary as far as time. We do, we're the creatures of this, this, this plane of existence bound by time. Time passes shortly for us. 60 years, 70 years, 80 years, we're gone. God continues on beyond this. Several generations have lived and it's only been like not even a week for him. First three chapters are dedicated to the seven churches in the first century. Now, each of these, scholars have said, can represent a church age, which is true, or it can, but there are also only seven categories and seven physical congregations that existed in Asia. But also today, any congregation that identifies itself as either being, quote, Christian and or Messianic, I can fit into one of the seven categories with great ease. And I'll tell you a little bit about more about that. I was having several lectures about that. It's pretty amazing. From second chapter, from chapter six on, it's written to the final generation, and the phrase "must take place shortly" can also be not just a period of time, like a thousand years or a, and a day, but it also means that once started, it can also mean like a catalytic, quick ending to things. So once started. It's blinking over, it accelerates like a slingshot, like a, a like a stone leaving a slingshot. Once set into motion, it doesn't take long for it to achieve its goal, and it leaves so very quickly with great speed. So the things these to think of as we start to interpret a little bit more and go deeper into this into this this study, as we look at the apocalypse and things which are yet to become. So until next time, 
This is the Abu Rabbi from the Tradex in Aberfurt, British Columbia, saying Shalom. Mazel tov. See you next time.